I will wish that your milk is sour every time that you make coffee. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry for being away for so long. It's been quite some time since I last uploaded a video. Hopefully that's going to change now. Um, yeah. Today I want to talk about a little topic that everybody is affected by. And everybody has their own version of this. It is pet peeves. For those of you that don't know what a pet peeve is, um, it's the little things that just make people go over the edge, irritates the crap out of people. Um, there's no real reason why uh, everybody, like I said, everybody has their own pet peeves. It comes and goes and today I just quickly want to touch on this because for some reason my pet peeves are starting to feel even more active. Uh, there's stuff that really bothers me so quickly and it will just set me off. Yeah, you have your normal pet peeves like people that chew loudly, people that are chronically late, people who scuff their feet as they walk, the feeling of chalk on your hands, people who say ew to food on your plate, people who literally always says literally, line cutters, spelling errors, litter bugs, Clapping at the end of a movie. Public display of affection. Strong body odor. Yeah, we're not going to talk about those pet peeves today. I want to tell you guys about pet peeves that really drive me insane. I'm talking absolutely insane. This is stuff that I want to... I, I will wish the worst pain imaginable on you. I will wish that you walk on Legos for the rest of your life every time that you get up in the night when you go to the bathroom. I will wish that your milk is sour every time that you make coffee. That type of pet peeves. The first one on this list, and this is something that I don't understand how people can't see when they're doing this, is when you talk about the same topic over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over, and over, and over again. This happened at a funeral where the priest kept on going about a topic and he was talking and he was talking and I don't know if he tried to make his speech longer or try to plan people's feelings or whatever, but he was talking so much about this person that he got completely off topic. He was talking about a person for more than 10 minutes trying to explain the same character, the same traits in a person that nobody even knew what he was talking about anymore. I mean, come on! The same priest, a few weeks later, attended a prayer evening where he started to pray. Guys, your eyes are closed already. Now you don't know what's going on. You're sitting there for half an hour waiting for this guy to finish. What are you going to do? You are going to fall asleep. I mean, come on. Just get to the point. Do it. Get over with. We have things to do. Yeah, we are there for the same reason. We are all there for the same reason. We won't be there if we're not interested. So get on with it. Get done with it so that we can go on with our lives. Thank you. The next pet peeve that I have is something very near and dear to my heart. Growing up, my mother and my father were strict on us. You say please and you say thank you. When somebody greets you, you greet them back. At night, you will greet them nicely. Good night, good evening, good day, good morning, thank you, please. May I, I hope you, why not have a little manners? Manners matter. So, if you come to me and you want me to help you with something, or you want me to give you something, don't just say, borrow me your punch. Stay flat. Because this is actually stuff that happens. It happened today. My reaction would be... I can't hear you. Try again. And it's going to go like that until you can recognize that you have to say please or thank you or you can just go away. 
That's your options. Please and thank you and I will be more than obliged to help you. I would love to help you. But if you can't use your basic manners, then there's no place in society for you. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. It's when somebody comes into proximity with you, close proximity, and for some reason they feel the need to stand and chew on a piece of bubble gum like they are a cow grazing on a wet lawn on a farmyard where it's been raining for a few weeks on end and the grass is nice and green and you can just imagine how a, ch a cow's jaw will move with all of that fresh grass and when you see a person's mouth and jaw move like that and you can hear the bubble gum inside the mouth making small popping sounds and they spit and saliva around that chewing gum and it penetrates your ears and you can't help but imagine what it would be like to slap that person through the face of a wet fish. It's really something that I have to work on because people like that have a special place in hell in my books. Another thing that I really can't understand why people do this is when they go to town, they go to a supermarket, I mean if you go to a supermarket it's not like you're shopping for clothes and you have to find the exact right outfit. You know what you want, you know what you need. So get your trolley, push it down the aisles, you know which aisles you need to be in and which you don't. If you don't, there's signs on top of every aisle where you can see, oh, toothpaste, deodorant, bath soap, uh, medication, bubble bath, dog care, dog food. You are not going to go in there when you want to buy sweets for your child's birthday. You're not going to walk down that aisle when you want to buy bread. You're not going to walk down that aisle when you want to go and just get milk. So why do you walk like you are a snail going over eggshells when you want to buy something at a supermarket? Get a little list. Write down everything that you need. It's not that hard. So, next time, just think about it. While you're walking, and you're walking as slow as can be, I'm standing there thinking to myself, I wish you would slip, fall into that freezer right next to you, and freeze, just so that you can maybe thaw a little and get a little bit of speed in your life. Because I can't imagine being close to you, or having to spend time with you, in a shopping scenario, doesn't matter where, you don't belong there if you don't know what you want. If you want to buy clothes, yes, I can understand that. If you're looking for a perfect present, yes, I can understand that. But in a supermarket where you can buy food, food, uh, bath stuff, toiletries, a little bit of medicine, drinks, bread, eggs, you know what you want, get it and get out. Don't spend your time wasting everybody else's time because our time is actually precious. Please. Another thing that really, really gets to me is when you're busy talking to somebody, explaining important matters in life like your next party or what you're going to eat for the night or um, what music they want to listen to or something as important as the cute little things that your dog did last night. And somebody else comes and they just take over the, the conversation like you're not even there changing the topic, going on about something else. I mean, no, I'm not really here. Just carry on with your life. I hope you rot. Please, oh no, what? You wanted to hear that? No, no. No, thank you, we're not going to talk anymore. If you're busy talking with somebody else, or if you want to talk to somebody else, just think, maybe there's somebody else talking very important matters with the other person. If you can hear them talking to somebody else, it means you got to keep quiet. It's not that hard. <laughs>
This is really stuff that gets to me. It's so easy for you to get to me. People, like I said, everybody has their own pig peeves. Everybody has a little thing that will just put them over the edge. Um, I shared some of my very, very, very honest pig peeves with you guys. Um, please let me know down in the comments what pig peeves you guys have that you might think is a little over the top. Like I said, mine sometimes do get over the top while I'm driving. Don't irritate me, don't drive like I'm on Parak, because then you are going to be one. Um, while I'm in the shopping center, don't be a sucky, be a Sonic the Hedgehog or something, just ch -ch 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 and get done with it. Um, don't chew. I have nothing against bubble gum. I just want to put that out there. I also like to chew bubble gum when I'm busy. I will chew on bubble gum, but I'm not going to sit there. That is disgusting. My dog will eat better than you. Guys, that is it for today's video. Um, like I said, please let me know down in the comments what your pet peeves are. I am actually curious to find out what your most annoying pet peeves are that you have. And yeah, then I'm going to see you guys again next time. Goodbye.